Happy Monday. Happy Monday to you all. I am so sorry that I am late. Not really late. I changed the time to 3.30 instead of 3 because I was on a call and I had to change the meeting time. So we are here. I hope everyone had a great weekend. I know this weekend was, well, the first half of the weekend was very good. Saturday was really, really nice. I was in t-shirts outside and then Sunday just rained all day and it was just cold. But I'm Sandra Morris. I am the admin for the group I do in the Caribbean. I am also a destination wedding planner and a travel advisor, travel agent, if you want to call it that. So I help couples plan their destination wedding in the Caribbean or Mexico, hopefully without the stress and being overwhelmed. So if you're looking to have someone help you plan your wedding, I am available for that. So today's topic is getting married in the Dominican Republic. I don't think I've done this yet. So let me um, start my presentation. So if you are thinking of a place to get married and you're considering the Dominican Republic, what would you need to get married in DR? So these are the requirements for having a legal wedding in Dominican Republic, in DR. So you need a birth certification to um, a copy of your birth certificate. Um, you need a notarized declaration of being single. So if you're ever married at some point and you became single or divorced, they want you to notarize uh, a declaration showing that you're actually single and you can get married. And there's a time frame. I think for women has to be within 10 months. So if you were, you have to be, I guess, divorced within 10 months before you can get married again. And this is a copy of the couple's passport. You're gonna need that and photocopies of all witnesses' passports. If you don't, who are not family members. So if, you have, if you're getting married, legally married, you need um, witnesses to witness your ceremony and they can't be family members and they need to have copies of them. If you don't have witnesses, most resort will provide witnesses for you for your wedding. And for a legal wedding, you need to be on resort at least three business days before, you know, to make sure you finalize all your documents are finalized and you have to be in country because that's a requirement to be there three business days before your wedding. Um, all the documentation must be translated and legalized by the Dominican consulate because they got to be in, in, uh, in Spanish because that is the language of DR. So your documents have to be translated and you have to send that in within three months before arrival. So there's things you have to do and have in place before um, you can have a legal ceremony in the DR. Civil ceremony, which is legal, um, are gonna be in Spanish and they will have a translator for you if you want to in English so they can translate the wedding um, vows in English, but most likely it's gonna be in Spanish. Also, it's gonna be done by, performed by a judge. So I know you might want a certain wedding date, but you have to make sure that the judge is available for the time of day and the day that you want to have your wedding. So that's something you need to think about because as I said, a judge would have to um, officiate your ceremony. If you're having a symbolic wedding, meaning, meaning you're already married, or if you wanna do a vow renewal, that's an easier process. All you really need to do is provide a copy of your marriage certificate. And I would say you need to be in the country at least two business days before your wedding, you know, to check into the resort, to go do the walkthrough. So I would say, don't come the day before, come two days before, and just check with the resort. Each resort will have their own requirement as to when you should arrive on property. So definitely that's gonna be communicated to you so you'll know when to book your flight to be on property. And the resort, because it's not official, it's not a legal ceremony, we'll have someone there to officiate your ceremony um, on the day of your wedding. So a lot of people pick um, DR and um, I guess I'm gonna talk about what the travel requirements for actually traveling to DR at this moment. So, so far they don't require a negative PCR test to go to DR, but when you get there, they might randomly select three to 15% of the passengers to do random breath test, I guess to see if you're sick or not. Um, a COVID test is required uh, upon entry back to the US as of January 26. So if you go to DR, you're gonna be required to have a negative COVID test three days before you enter back into the US. Um, most resorts on at um, DR are providing the um, tests you need 
on property. So most of them are not charging anything for that. So hopefully this continues. And they um, required us to fill out a traveler's health affidavit. And this is until March 31st. So rules can change depending on what's going on. And they also offer you a free health coverage plan. So if you should become sick while you're there, you're gonna be covered by this health plan if you're traveling there and should get sick. The most popular destination I would say if people are going to DR is in Punta Cana. And the reason why people now normally would pick Punta Cana because of the pristine beaches and it's just like one of the, what I guess one of the most beautiful destination is around the Punta Cana area. Um, the most popular times I would say you, you should travel to DR is late winter, early spring. So say from December to April is a good time to travel there. And the temperature is pretty warm and it's not as rainy. So that's when most people always try to get, get away during the winter time. And this is a good time if you're going to travel to um, DR. There's lots to do when you get into um, Punta Cana. I mean, there's so much um, activities and attractions that you can have and organize for your guests. So, you know, what I like about DR that you can do a boat trip to neighboring islands like the Samoan Island. That's a nice little half a day trip that you can do. They have exciting jungle trips and they have all kind of water sports. Most of, these, most of the Caribbean is gonna have a lot of water sports for you, sailing, diving, surfing, snorkeling, kayaking, zip lining, catamaran cruise. So there is quite a few activities that you can participate in that's available for you. And people, a lot of people like horseback riding on the beach. So there's lots to do while you're there. So I just have some pictures here of if you do your day trip to um, Tawana, snorkeling, swimming with the dolphin, horseback riding. These are just a few things that you can think of doing while you're um, honeymooning or having your destination wedding in um, DR. So most of the resorts, there are plenty of all-inclusive resorts to choose from within the Punta Cana area. All the names are there, you know, the Iberia Star, the Ryu, the Dreams, the Now, you know, Breathless, Hard Rock, Cafe, Hard Rock Resorts. There are so many resorts to choose from and they're not far from the airport. They're like 30 to 40 minutes away from the airport airport. So you have a lot of choices uh, on picking um, a nice resort within Punta Cana to have your wedding or in DR, you know, if that's what you want. So this is what I, um, this is information I have for you today. If you are planning to do a destination wedding in DR, the requirements for um, doing your legal ceremony uh, I've included, which includes just there is no blood test required, which is very good. So just need to have your birth certificate, um, copy of your um, passport, and these information got to be sent in at least three months before so the wedding department can start organizing and getting your um, documents ready so you can have a le legal ceremony when you get to DR. So if you have any more questions on... Um, any, any questions on planning your destination wedding in DR, please reach out to me. If you need help planning your own wedding and you need help, you can also reach out to me on that. If you're looking for tours and activity within any one of these islands, Jamaica, Mexico, DR, St. Lucia, you can reach out to me because I can help you with finding um, tours and activities that are good for groups or even for singles if you're looking for that. Also, I think next week I am going to be covering Costa Rica and the requirements for getting married in Costa Rica and what are some of the activities that you can do while you're in Costa Rica. So stay tuned for that and I will see you next week Monday when I talk all about Costa Rica.